Four years ago, my friend took a year's absence from work to write the story of how she survived cancer as a 14-year-old. For 30 years, she's been adamant that she didn't survive that ordeal except by good fortune, like buying a lottery ticket and hoping your numbers get picked. My friend was on holiday in Thailand with her family in 2004 when the tsunami struck. I wrote her immediately with no reply. For days, I watched the news on the odd chance I might see her face in the airports and the shelters. Why wouldn't she write if she was safe? And then, after a week, she did. Sometimes you work and work and work, but all effort can be a sandcastle. Last summer, they found a growth inside her abdomen. The doctors removed 23 pounds of tumor. My friend tells me that all the wishing in the world won't make her live longer. You don't win the lottery with prayer. She is saying, you can't count on me to make it through. It's true that hope can be a trap set by expectation. When she returned from Thailand, my friend told me that her family had been safe in the north, oblivious. When they flew into Bangkok on their way to Phuket, the airport was sardined with people, family members from around the world looking for their missing loved ones, the walls of the airport papered with photographs. The future is a rope that you follow hand over hand through dark times, not knowing what end that rope is tied to. I know my friend is right about the lottery. Wishing is a placebo. But with a body, you can improve its odds with effort or worsen them with a lack of care. I want to remind my friend that in the working hands of the doctors, is an intention, much like the wish of her family, much like my own. And that wish, combined with effort, makes a sort of light in the darkness, like love, showing us what needs to be done.